The Bible says that if God does not watch over a city, the watchman watches but in vain. God is the only one that can watch over you day and night and you are assured of safety, security and peace of mind. When you go out, you should be rest assured that you are being watched by God because you are the apple of God's eyes. He will neither sleep nor slumber when it comes to protecting you. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says that you should call upon him in times of trouble. He will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you don't know of. We will be praying together that the Lord will protect us from the traps and schemes of the wicked ones. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord would keep you safe and secure from the evil ones. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. By the power in the word of God, I pray that the Lord would establish and guard you against the evil one in Jesus' name. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I decree over you today that the Lord would always be your refuge and strength and you would be helped by the Lord in Jesus' name. According to the word of God in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, which says, Be strong and be courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He would not leave you or forsake you. I decree that you will not be in fear of the wicked. I pray for you that your going out and coming in is blessed in the name of Jesus. You will neither fear for God is with you. You will be strengthened and God will help you and uphold you with his right hand in Jesus' name. Psalm 34 verse 7 says that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and deliver them. According to the word of God, and I pray that you are always protected by the angel of the Lord and you will be delivered from trouble by the angel of the Lord in Jesus' name. God will always be your hiding place and he will preserve you from trouble. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will be surrounded with shouts of deliverance in Jesus' name. Proverbs 2.11 says, Discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you. According to the word of God, I pray you will be protected by discretion and you will be guarded by understanding the word of God. Proverbs 4, 6 says you should not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Love her and she will watch over you. By reason of the word of God, I pray for you that the wisdom of God in you will protect you as you love her. She will watch over you in the name of Jesus. And I decree that you will always take refuge in God as you do this. You will be God. I also pray for you that the Lord will spread his protection over you and all your loved ones. You will be answered by the Lord when you are distressed. God will protect you from the teeth of the evil ones in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you will be protected by the Lord in dangerous places. I stand upon the word of God and I decree that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And I judge any tongue that rises up against you in the name of Jesus. Since you are the apple of God's eyes, God will keep you and he will hide you in the shadow of his wings from the wicked who are out to destroy you. The Lord will be your shepherd and you will not fear. Even if you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil because God is with you. I decree by the word of God over you that the Lord will rescue you from evil attack and will bring you safely into his heavenly kingdom in Jesus' name. You will always hide in the name of the Lord because it is a strong tower. And as you do that, you will find safety and security in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering our prayers. For it is in your name we have prayed. Amen. The battle is of the Lord. It is not yours. The word of God says in Exodus 14, 14, that the Lord would fight for you and you will hold your peace. Having this mindset will make you realize that without the help of God, 
You would not triumph over the wicked ones that are plotting to hurt you. You are triumphant already in Christ when he died, went to hell, and collected the keys of death seen and the grave from the devil. But despite this victory, you need to still enforce it because the devil never stops trying to wage war against God's children. The Bible emphatically told us in Ephesians 6.12 that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Our battle is not a kind of one, it is a spiritual one, and that is why we must not be casual when we are dealing with the powers of darkness. The kingdom of God must be enforced on earth with violence because the wicked ones will fight vehemently against it coming through. We'll be using Psalm 35 as our reference point to war against the devil and his cohorts. So let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will give us flawless victory against the wicked ones that are gathered against us even now. According to word of God in Psalm 35 verse 1, Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. I decree over you today that the Lord will plead your cause against those that strive with you. He will also fight against those that are fighting against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 2 of the same scripture says that the Lord would take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for your help by reason of the word of God. I decree over you that the Lord would arise for your help against those that are fighting against you. He would take hold of shield and buckler to war against the evil ones gathered against you in the name of Jesus. Verse 3 says that the Lord would draw out also the spare and stop the war against them that persecute you. He will say unto your soul, I am your salvation. I therefore pray for you that the Lord would arise to war against the wicked ones that are fighting against you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that all those that are fighting against you will be confounded and put to shame that seek after your soul. They will be turned back and brought to confusion that devise your hurt in the mighty name of Jesus. Wicked ones that are devising their evil plans against you and your family will be as chaff before the wind and the angel of the Lord will chase them in the name of Jesus. I decree that the ways of the wicked ones will be dark and slippery and the angel of the Lord will persecute them day and night. I pray for you that all the pits and traps the wicked ones have laid for you will not catch up with you. I decree that they will fall into the pits and traps that they have set for you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that destruction will come upon the evil ones at unaware time and they will fall into the trap that they have set for you in the name of Jesus. Your soul will always be joyful in the Lord as the Lord would always show himself strong and mighty on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. The name of the Lord will deliver you and all your loved ones from those that are too strong for you and he will keep you far away from the spoilers. Anyone that is plotting to return the good you have done for them for evil will not see the light of a new day in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord would not be silent for long concerning your case. He will arise in his holy anger and scatter all the wicked ones that are fighting against you and your family. I pray for you that the wicked ones will not wrongfully rejoice over you and your loved ones. You will always be the one to rejoice over the enemies as the Lord would always give you a sweet victory over the wicked ones that are plotting to put you into shame in the name of Jesus. You will always give the Lord thanks in a great congregation as he will always make you victorious over the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. We thank you, blessed Redeemer, for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. There is safety for you and your family because they that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. 
The enemies will always try so hard to make sure that you leave the secret place of the Most High so that you will be vulnerable to his attacks. Fear not, for he who is on your side is more than they that are on the other side. The Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 4, God will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will take refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and wall. You are covered and shielded from all the traps of the wicked ones. Do not be scared of the devices of the powers of darkness against you. We will be praying for protection and safety for you and all members of your household. And so let us pray together with faith and in faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the confidence that we have even in you. That when we ever come to you, you are ever ready to listen to us. And so in the name of Jesus, I pray and declare and everyone under the sound of my voice, I pray for you that the Lord will keep you safe from all the traps of the wicked ones in Jesus name. Psalm 23 verses 2 to 4 say that the Lord will lead you beside the still waters. He will guide you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil for God is with you. His rod and his staff will comfort you. I decree over you and your family that all these will be your portion and that of your families in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God in Psalm 25 verses 20 to 21, you will be secured and guarded by the Lord and you will not be ashamed for the Lord will be your refuge. The Lord would always be your ever-present help in times of trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 34, 18 says that the Lord will save those who are crushed in the spirit. I pray for you that any way you might be low in spirit, you will be saved by the Lord in Jesus' name. He will hide you in the day in his tabernacle in the day of trouble. He will hide you in a secret place and he will lift you up on a rock in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 55 2 says that you should cast your burden to the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. I pray for you and your family that you will cast your burden to the Lord and as you do that, he will sustain you in all areas of your life. The Lord will be your light and salvation. You will not fear. The Lord will be the strength of your life and you will not be afraid of what the wicked ones can do against you. You will always lift up your eyes to the hill because that is where your help will come from the Lord in the name of Jesus. The Lord will always watch over you in your going out and your coming in throughout this year. And I pray also that the Lord will be the shade on your right hand. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but they shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked that are guarded against you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you that the Lord will protect you from all evil. He will also preserve your soul in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 4 verse 8 that you will lie down and sleep for the Lord will cause you to dwell in safety. I pray for you today that any time you lie down to sleep, the Lord will make you to sleep in peace and you will not be attacked by the evil ones. You will always take refuge in the secret place of the Most High in the name of Jesus. As you have taken refuge in the Lord, you will never be put to shame. I pray for you that any time you call upon the name of the Lord, He will arise and save you from the mouth of the wicked ones. He will be your strength and shield. I also pray for you that you will always put your trust in Him. I pray for you that the Lord will rescue you from those who attack you and will keep you secured from the snares of the trappers in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that even though you walk in the midst of trouble, the Lord will revive you and keep you safe and the Lord will reach out with his mighty hands against the wrath of your enemies. The Lord's right hand will always save you. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. 
and we rejoice awaiting the answers. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. The battle against the host of darkness is not a physical one. The Word of God says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Your fight shall be taken to a higher realm when you are fighting, not because you are scared of defeat, but because you are assured that you have been made more than a conqueror. You know that even before you started the warfare against dark forces warring against you, you have already won. You just want to seal the victory. As believers, we are fighting an already won battle. The battle against the devil and his minions was won by our Lord Jesus Christ over 2,000 years ago. The Bible says in Mark 16, 19, that you have been given the keys of the kingdom of heaven to bind anything you want to bind and lose anything you want to lose. Use the authority that you have in the name of Jesus. As we will be engaging in prayers together against all the dark forces that are fighting against the will of God for you and your family, I want you to be bold and join your faith with mine. In the name of Jesus, I scatter all the hosts of wickedness that are guarded against you. The word of God says in Deuteronomy 28 verse 7, The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee before you in seven ways. According to God's word, I decree over you that all the dark forces that are fighting against God's word in your life are scattered in seven ways in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the weapons of dark forces against you and your family are destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I pray for you that you will abide in the sacred place of the highest as you are safe from the attacks of evil forces against you in Jesus name. Psalm 35 verse 1 says, Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will begin to fight against all the host of darkness lurking in your family in the name of Jesus. The Lord will take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for your help. He will defend you against all the fiery darts of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. All the wicked ones that are working against you subtly are exposed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. There is no more hiding place for them in the mighty name of Jesus. I send for this instant judgment of the Lord upon the heads of all the wicked ones that are antagonizing the will of God for you in the name of Jesus. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the forces of wickedness that have devised your hurt fall for your sake. I decree that the agenda of the wicked ones against you will not stand. I decree that the secret plans of the wicked ones that were hushed in the secrets are exposed in the name of Jesus. And by the power that's in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the forces of wickedness that are assigned to frustrate your efforts are bound and sent to the bottomless pit. I decree that the angel of the Lord would chase those forces of wickedness that are bent on fighting against you. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I also decree that all the witches and wizards that are orchestrating evil against you fall for your sake. The word of the Lord says in Exodus 14, 14, that the Lord would fight for you and you will hold your peace. I decree that the Lord will begin to war against the powers of darkness around about you in the name of Jesus. The power of the Lord would cripple the forces of wickedness against you. And in the name of Jesus, I rebuke all powers of darkness that want to subvert the will of God for you. I decree that you will see the forces of wickedness flee before you in seven ways. I decree that the hand of the Lord will be against the wicked ones in your life. 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3 says, The Lord is faithful and he will deliver you from the evil ones. I decree that the Lord will deliver you from all the evil ones in the name of Jesus. 
I decree that you will submit to God. You will resist the devil and he and all his cohorts will flee from you. Psalm 7 verse 9 says that the wickedness of the evil ones will come to an end. I decree that all the wickedness of the forces of darkness against your life hath come to an end this very second in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that the crown of the wicked ones will come down from their heads for your sake. The word of God says in Isaiah 3 11, war to the wicked. It will go badly with him and what he deserves will be done to him. I decree that the Lord will make all the wicked ones that are fighting against your progress and breakthrough to get their reward from the Lord in Jesus name. I decree that all the hosts of wickedness that are assigned to bring you shame and disgrace and make you live a lowly and an unfulfilling life are put in their place. I decree that the host of wicked ones that are pursuing you relentlessly drown in the Red Sea. Those wicked ones will begin to eat their flesh and drink the blood in the name of Jesus. And by the power in that name, I also decree that you will continue to trample upon the hosts of wickedness and they will not hurt you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. For it is in Jesus' name we have prayed. The word of God in Exodus 14, 14 says that God would fight for you and you will hold your peace. Our Father is the Lord of hosts. His name is Jehovah Saboath and he is a master at fighting for his children. The battle is the Lord's. So you do not need to worry yourself about the number of people that are against you because he that is in you is more than those that are against you. Rest in the salvation of the Lord. He would never leave you alone to fight against the wicked ones that are against you. Call upon the name of the Lord. You are sure of getting victory. His word says that anyone that calls on his name shall be saved. And so we will be engaging the name of the Lord to fight against the wicked ones that have devised our hurt. Let us pray. In Jesus name, I pray that the Lord will begin to fight for you and you will hold your peace. The Lord will take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for your help in Jesus name. The word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 30, The Lord your God who goes before you, he will fight for you according to all he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. I pray that God will go ahead of you and begin to fight your battles in the name of Jesus. And I decree that all the wicked ones that are guarded against you will feel the wrath of God this very moment in the name of Jesus. I release the fire from the throne room of God to consume all the wicked forces that are subtly at work in your life and family in the name of Jesus. I cancel and destroy all the agenda and devices of the wicked ones against you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I bind and cast out all the forces of darkness that are manipulating any member of your family. I engage the ministry of angels and I send them right now to begin to wage war against the wicked ones that are plotting evil against you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that you are more than a conqueror against all the forces of darkness that are guarded against you to cause you sorrow and anguish in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 52 verse 12 says, For you shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. For the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your rear God. According to the word of God, I decree that the Lord will go ahead of you and war against demonic forces that are frustrating the will of God in your life in the name of Jesus. All the wicked ones that have gone against you in one way shall flee before you in seven ways in the name of Jesus. The Lord God go before you as a consuming fire and he will destroy the enemies around you and will bring them down in the name of Jesus. 
The word of God says in Isaiah 49 verse 25 that the Lord will contend with those that contend with you. By reason of the word of God, I pray that the Lord will begin to contend against the evil ones that are warring against you and your family in Jesus' name. The Lord will be your refuge and your hiding place against all the onslaught of the wicked ones. You will no longer be scared of the devil's devices against you as the Lord will always render his devices important in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will give you strength to resist all the devices of the wicked ones. You will be empowered to submit to God and to resist the devil. And as you do these, you will always be victorious against the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. I build a wall of defense around you against the attacks of the evil ones. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6 says that it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you. I pray for you in that name, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, that God will repay with tribulations those who trouble you. You will always wait on the Lord and as you do this, he will save you from the mouth of the wicked ones. The Lord will curse all those that are cursing you in Jesus' name. I decree that the Lord will cut in pieces the cords of the wicked in your life and your family. From today, you would no longer be afraid of the evil ones for the Lord is with you and he will deliver you in Jesus' name. I pray for you that the Lord will guard your feet and all the evil ones guarded against you shall be silent in darkness. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. He that dwells in the secret place of the highest shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Dwelling in a secret place is the first step in securing victory over the plans and agenda of the devil and his cohorts against you. If you're not abiding in a secret place, please do that now so that you will not be vulnerable to the fiery darts of the wicked ones. Today we'll be engaging in spiritual warfare against the evil ones that are gathered against you. We'll be employing the name of Jesus, his blood and his word to counter the devil and his agents that are working against the will of God for our lives. As the word of God says in Job 22 verse 29, that we will decree a thing on earth and it will be established to us and light will shine upon our heart. We have the authority to say what we want and it will be done according to what we have said. So let us pray. Let's pray using Psalm 91 verses 1 to 16. According to the word of God in Psalm 91 verse 1 which says, He that dwells in the sacred place of the highest shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I therefore decree over you that you will dwell in the sacred place of the highest and you will abide under the shadow of the Almighty and as you do these you will abide in safety in the name of Jesus. Verse 2 says that you will always say of the Lord that he is your refuge and your fortress. You will also trust and always trust him for your safety and protection in the name of Jesus. The Lord will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall trust. His shield will always be your shield and buckler in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in that name I pray for you that you would never be afraid of the terror by night nor for the arrow that flies by day. The Lord would always make the evil of the night not to come near your household and all the arrows of the wicked ones shot at you will backfire in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you would not be scared of the evil things that are at work every night and your heart will be garrisoned against the disaster that strikes at noonday in Jesus name. A thousand would fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but they will not come near you. Only with your eyes should you see the reward of the wicked. I pray for you 
that you will always make the Lord your refuge and your habitation against the attacks of the evil ones in Jesus name. I decree over you and your family that no evil will befall you and no plague will come near your dwelling in the name of Jesus. I release the ministry of angels to begin to take charge of you. They will keep you in all your ways. You will be protected by the angels that are assigned over you in Jesus name. The angels of the Lord assigned over you will ensure that no evil will befall you and they will ensure that you do not fall into the traps of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God in verse 3 which says, Surely he shall deliver you from the trap of the trappers and from the noisome pestilence. I stand upon it and I decree that the Lord would deliver you from the trap of the trappers and the noisome pestilence would not come near you and your loved ones by the power in the name of Jesus. From today, you will tread upon all forces of darkness that are sent to harm you. You will always emerge victorious against the wicked ones that are come against you in Jesus' name. I pray for you that the Lord would always set his love upon you and the banner of his love and name will be lifted high above all other names that are working contrary to the will of God for your life. And as the Lord has set his love upon you, you will always set your love upon him. And as you do this, the Lord will deliver you and set you on high in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that as you call upon the name of the Lord daily, he will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. The Lord will deliver you and honor you. You will be satisfied with long life and prosperity by the Lord. I also decree over you that you will be shown the salvation of the Lord in times of need in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord would fight for you and you would hold your peace. You would not live the presence of God and as you stay in his presence, you will be satisfied with all the good things of life in Jesus name. I pray that you will always praise the name of Jesus and you will always make a joyful noise to the Lord to the shame of the devil and his cohorts in Jesus name. We bless you Lord for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God gives strength to people who acknowledge that they cannot do some things by their human strength. The Bible says that it is not by power nor by might, but by His Spirit. This simply means that your strength will fail you when you need it the most. This is why you should depend on God's strength for you and not your own. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. That's what the scripture says. So wait on the Lord to renew your strength. We will be praying for divine strength so that you will be able to do extraordinary things for God. The word of God says in Matthew 7, 7, Ask and it shall be given to you. If you believe it, let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for the strength you have given to us. We thank you, Lord, your strength is made manifest in all of our weaknesses. We're thankful, Lord, for strengthening us with all might by your spirit in our inner man. Daniel 11.32 says, They that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. And I stand to pray for you that as you keep on knowing God, you're empowered and strengthened to do kingdom exploits in the name of Jesus. God's grace is made sufficient in all of your weaknesses in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus that you are encouraged and strengthened even in your darkest moments. You will receive divine strength to run ahead of your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. According to Psalm 46 verse 1, that God is your strength and your refuge and ever-present help in times of trouble. I decree based on this word, over you that the Lord will always be your strength and refuge at all times and he will be an ever-present help in your troubled days in the name of Jesus. 
Philippians 4 13 says that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. I pray for you that the Lord will strengthen you to do extraordinary things for him in Jesus name. I pray for you that your will not be weakened by the attacks of the devil and his cohorts. Rather, it will strengthen you. The Lord will be your strength and salvation in your life and family in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will keep on waiting on the Lord despite all that might be happening around you in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as I decree over you that God will walk in you much more to will and to do his good pleasure in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. You would not lack strength to be able to seek the face of the Lord all the days of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord God will go ahead of you and war against those that are contending with you. I release the oil of strength to flow from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for you that you are strengthened with the ability to know that the Lord wants you to do part time and season. I decree over you that all the weaknesses that are limiting you are turned into your areas of strength in the name of Jesus. I scatter all the agents of weaknesses around you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you would not be a prey of the evil one's attack as the Lord would give you strength to overcome and jump over their traps. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord would give you divine strength to always be victorious over all the schemes of the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree over you that no matter how the enemies try to make you weak, you would never be weak by their devices. Rather, you will be strengthened in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I decree over you that all the devices of the wicked ones targeted at you to cause you weakness will not prosper in the name of Jesus. You will always seek the Lord and his strength continually all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. I say you have the strength to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt you in Jesus name. You will be strong and courageous. You will not fear or be scared of the wicked ones that are guarded against you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you Lord for answering these prayers and even much more in the name of Jesus we have prayed. Amen. The good Lord would empower you with strength and faith over fear because his word says in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 that we have not been given the spirit of fear but of power, love, and a sound mind. Fear is torment, and the devil can steal good things from you by making you fearful. Bind the spirit of fear that wants to rob you of good things that God has prepared for you. You have the spirit of adoption that supersedes fear. Walk much more in the strength and faith you have over all forms of fear working subtly in you. And the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, You shall fear not, for he is with you. You shall not be afraid, for he is your God. He will strengthen you and help you. He will help you. He will uphold you with his righteous hand. Glory. This morning, we will be praying for strength and faith of a fear. We will do that with all conviction in the spirit. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for giving us the spirit of love, power, and sound mind over the spirit of fear. In the name of Jesus, we bless your name, Lord, for making us bold as lions because we have been made your righteousness. The word of God says in Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. In the name of Jesus, I pray to you that is listening to me. I pray that you will learn to trust in the Lord in all situations that shall make you fearful in the name of Jesus. 
You are strengthened with might by God's spirit in your inner man against the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. And by the power in the word of God, I bind the spirit of fear that has been tormenting and making you lose your boldness and trust in the word of God. Your faith is rooted and built up on the love of God and your faith grows and will make you exercise authority over fear in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that even though you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil for God is with you. His rod and staff would always comfort you in the mighty name of Jesus. And since the Lord is your light and salvation, you would not fear anyone. The Lord is the strength of your life. You would not be afraid of anyone in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in John 14, 27, that peace is what God has left for you. It is his peace that he has given to you. He did not give you the peace that the world gives. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. I pray for you that the peace that God has given you will not be compromised by any circumstances around you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that you will not be hit by the arrows of fear that are shot at you. Isaiah 35 verse 4 says, Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong! Do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. I decree over you that you are strengthened because God has come with his vengeance and avenge those that are seeking to harm you in Jesus' name. By the power in that name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, you would not fear all the antics and devices of the wicked ones in your life and in your family. You will be strong and courageous. You will not be afraid and you will not be discouraged for God will always hold you with his right hand saying to you, fear not. You will not be fearful of tomorrow for God will load you with benefits. And in the name of Jesus, you will always seek the Lord. And as you do that, the Lord will answer you and deliver you from all your fears in the mighty name of Jesus. The consolation of the Holy Spirit will bring you joy over fears. Since the Lord is with you, you will not be afraid of what men can do to you. I pray for you that you will not be afraid or terrified because of the enemies. For the Lord God will go with you. He would never leave you nor forsake you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The word of God says in Hebrews 11 verse 6, God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. It also says in 1 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 11, Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. It is expedient as a believer for you to seek the Lord with all that is within you. Seek the Lord while he is still near. God loves people to seek him wholeheartedly without expecting something in return. This is the best time to seek him and do that relentlessly. You need the help of the Holy Ghost to seek God with all your heart. We will be asking for his help to seek his will at all times. And the word of God says in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things you do not know. Let us pray together in faith. Father, we thank you for giving us a heart that yearns after you. We give you the praise for loving us first and we know that we have received the ability to also love you in return. And therefore, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will help us to seek you wholeheartedly, no matter the situation. Father, we pray that you give us a heart that longs and chases after you at all times in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 14 verse 2, The Lord has looked down from heaven upon the sons of men to see if there are any who understands, who seek after God. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that the Lord will look down from heaven upon you as you seek the Lord wholeheartedly and diligently in Jesus' name. 
As you seek the Lord diligently, the Lord will reward you handsomely. Amos 5, 4 says, you should seek the Lord so that you may live. I pray for you that as you keep seeking the Lord, you will find life in all areas of your life. And in that name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray that you would not be discouraged by prevalent situations around you from seeking the Lord diligently. Proverbs 8, 17 says that God loves those that love him and those that diligently seek him will find him. I pray for you that you will learn to love the Lord right and well in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that in all things that you do, you will seek the Lord without any ulterior motive. The Holy Spirit who is your seal of promise till the day of redemption will flood your heart with the love of God which will make you seek God diligently and wholeheartedly in the name of Jesus. You will not be distracted by any external forces from seeking the part of God in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that no matter the devil's agenda and plots against you, it shall not stand because your heart will be garrisoned with the love of God. I hereby separate you from all worldly entanglements that might distract you from seeking the Lord wholeheartedly in Jesus' name. The word of God says in Matthew 6.33 that you should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added to you. I pray for you that the kingdom of God will always be your first priority and you will be dedicated to please God at all times in Jesus' name. You will dwell in the presence of the Lord all the days of your life. In Jesus' name, I pray for you that nothing will be able to separate you from the love of God. I release over you the will of God will supersede yours in the name of Jesus. And I pray that no matter the storm that you will face, they will not make you stop seeking God. Rather, it will help you soar and climb up higher to the presence of God in Jesus' name. The word of God says in Psalm 119 verse 2, How blessed are those who observe this testimony, who seek the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you are blessed and favored as you seek the Lord diligently. The laws of the Lord will give you uttermost pleasure and satisfaction at all times. I release peace and joy into your heart that will make you stable despite all that is happening to you which wants to put you or shift your focus from seeking God and seeking what you want in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Whoever the Son of God has set free is free indeed. You are enjoying the freedom that Christ gave you when he died and went to hell and defeated death, hell, sin and the grave. The victory was handed down to you just by you simply believing in the finished work of Christ. You are now free from the pangs of sin, death, hell and the grave. You are free and you are to enforce the freedom you have been given in the place of prayers. The devil and his cohorts do not want you to walk and enjoy the liberty that you have in Christ. So, it is necessary for you to enforce that freedom you have been given in Christ. You are not supposed to get depressed because you are to draw joy from the wells of salvation. The Word of God says in Galatians 5 verse 1 that it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. Do not burden yourself with anything that may entangle you with the things that Christ has made you free from. We will be praying that we walk in the freedom that God has given to us. So let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you and everyone under the sound of my voice that the freedom that you have been given will not be compromised by any force in the name of Jesus. By the power in that name, I pray that you will no longer be entangled again by any yoke of bondage in the name of Jesus. 
The word of God says in Romans 6, 7, that for one who has died has been set free from sin. By reason of the word of God, I pray that you walk in the freedom you have over sin in the name of Jesus. Romans 13, 8 says that you should not owe anyone except love. I pray for you that you will not be indebted to anyone materially. The word of God in Galatians 5, 13 also says that you should not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh but through love you should serve one another and by the reason of that word of God I pray that you would not use the freedom you have in Christ as an opportunity to gratify the lusts of the flesh but you will serve your brethren in love in the name of Jesus 2 Corinthians 3, 17 says that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. According to the Word of God, you will always experience freedom anytime you are in the presence of God in the name of Jesus. John 8, 32 says you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. As you know the truth in the Word of God, you are set free from anything that is trying to limit you in the mighty name of Jesus. Anytime you cry out to the Lord, He will answer you and set you free from the hold of the wicked ones. You will always proclaim liberty to those that are in captivity and freedom to the prisoners because the Spirit of the Lord is within and upon you in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 12, 3 says, Only with joy shall you draw water from the wells of salvation. I pray for you that all the days of your life, you will always draw joy from the presence of God in the name of Jesus. Since you have been set free from the sin through the shedding of the blood of Jesus from today, I pray that you will be a slave to righteousness all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 30 verse 5 says that whipping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I decree over you that the season of your mourning is over and you have entered into your season of joy in the name of Jesus. John 16 22 C says that no one will take away your joy from you. By reason of that word, I decree over you that your joy will always remain intact and no one will steal it in the name of Jesus. The Lord will continually put joy in your heart than they whose grain and wine abound in the mighty name of Jesus. Your joy will always be full and it will be renewed daily. The Lord will make known to you the path of life and you will always enjoy the joy of the Lord which abounds in his presence and you will always taste of good pleasures forevermore in Jesus' name. Bless you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The will of God is for you is that you walk and live in the purpose he created you for and the will of God is all summed up in his word and the specific words he tells you by the words of his mouth it is also dependent on your will to either submit to it or remain adamant you also must know that the will of God is never evil his word says in Jeremiah 29 11 that the thoughts of God for you are thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. The Word of God says in Proverbs 19, 21, Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. You might have your own will and ambitions, but they are still subject to God's will. Submitting to God's will for you will be the best decision you will ever make it is time we pray that the will of God be done in our lives let us pray in the name of Jesus we pray Lord that your will be revealed to us and through us and by the power in that name we ask that your will for us will become clearer to us Jeremiah 29 11 says that the thoughts you have towards us are good and not of evil to give us 
expect an end. I pray that your good plans for us will begin to come to fruition in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that your will be done in our lives as it is done in heaven in Jesus' name. As it's written in Matthew 6, 33, we should seek your kingdom first and your righteousness and all other things will be added to us. I pray, Lord, that you will help us seek your kingdom and your righteousness first. And as we do this, all our desires are met in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you will help us to seek and do your will at all times in the name of Jesus. At every point of our lives, Lord, we will always say, not my will, Lord, but let your will be done in the name of Jesus. We will be sensitive to know what you want us to do part time and season. Father, your word says in Romans 8, 14, that only those that are led by your spirit are your children. We pray, Lord, that you will help us to always be led by your spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to be discerning to know the difference between our will, the devil's will, and your will. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we will test and prove your will for us much more in the mighty name of Jesus. 3 John 1 verse 2 says we are to prosper and be in health even as our souls prosper. I pray Lord that we will walk in your will as regards our health and prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. One of the first steps to discerning God's will is to obey him in the things he is communicating to us. And in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, that you will empower us to obey the specific instructions you have told us in the past and even in the present. In the name of Jesus. 1 Timothy 2 verses 3 and 4 says that all men are saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, that as we go about doing your will, we will be richly rewarded. Your word says that you are a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. And by the power in your name, we ask the Lord, you will cause your face, Lord, to shine upon us. Our paths will be lightened in the name of Jesus. We pray that we will be accountable to your will always and we will respond to it by being submissive to it. We will be equipped to do the will of the Lord in all areas of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare that we will not stray out of God's will for us in the mighty name of Jesus. As 1 John 2.17 says, the Lord is passing away and also it's lost. But the one who does the will of God lives forever. We ask you, Lord, that we will do your will. And as we do it, we will enjoy long life and health and prosperity in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. We bless your name, Father. You are a prayer answering God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God has promised to supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. He also told us not to be anxious about what we are going to eat, drink or wear. Because he knows that we need these things for survival. He is too committed to seeing you starve or be in want. The young lion men lack and suffer hunger. But they that trust in the Lord shall not lack any good thing. All your needs are met already in Christ Jesus. Do not be like someone that is in need, rather act like one that lends to nations. The word of God says you cannot ask God for a fish and he will give you a serpent. We'll be asking God what we want in his name, with faith, believing that our prayers are answered. Let us pray together in faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray today for you that all your needs are met according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. I pray for you that you would not lack anything good in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Second Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 says, And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. By the reason of the word of God, which is yea and amen in him, I decree that you are blessed in all things and you will always have sufficiency in all things and also abounding unto good works in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you that you have all things that pertain unto life and godliness. The Lord would never leave you and he will never forsake you. He will keep on meeting you at the point of your needs. From today, I decree over you that you would be a giver and not always a receiver in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will begin to possess the hidden treasures of darkness. You would not beg before you eat. The Lord will cause you to eat in abundance in the name of Jesus. John 10.10 10 says that Jesus has come to give you life and to give you this life in abundance. I therefore pray for you that the life of God will be seen much more in all areas of your life in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you would not sow and another man reap from where you have sown. The Lord will bless the works of your hands in the name of Jesus. Matthew 6 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things will be added to you. From today, I pray for you that you will always seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and as you do that, all other things will be added to you. The Lord will cause you to give to nations, and you'll be called blessed by the Lord. By nations. Kings will come to the brightness of your rising and Gentiles will come to your light in the mighty name of Jesus. That idea that would forever take you away from the valley of lack and penury will be released unto you whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not. I pray for you that you will arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has been risen upon you. The Lord will rain an avalanche of resources on you and your family in the name of Jesus. There is no stagnation and limitation for you in all ramifications in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the angel in charge of sending you your daily benefits is put to work for your sake in Jesus' name. And I decree over you that nothing dies in your hands in the name of Jesus. Help will always come to you when you need it and your helpers will locate you whether the devil likes it or not. I cancel all the devices of the wicked ones to steal the good things that God has prepared for you in the name of Jesus. There is progress and supernatural speed for you and your family even this season in the name of Jesus. The project that you might have embarked on is completed in this season. I release the rain of abundance of resources for you and your family throughout this season and even forevermore in Jesus' name. We bless you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. God has promised to restore all the years the caterpillar, cankerworm, and locust have eating. He's the God of restoration. Psalm 23 verse 3 says, He restores my soul and he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He is ready to restore your marriage, health, business, academics, finance and every other area in which you need a complete restoration. Not only does he restore, but he also makes whole. He can make you whole in your health and all other strategic places you need his divine touch. The word of God says in Jeremiah 30, 17, For I will restore health unto you and I'll heal you of all your wounds, says the Lord, because they called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion whom no man seeks after. He has promised you in his word that he is going to heal you of all wounds. Be they physical wounds, emotional wounds, or financial wounds, I pray for you that your health is restored today in Jesus' name. 
So we will be praying for complete restoration of all that the devil and his agents have stolen from us and the wholeness of our spirit, souls and bodies. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing us and making us whole from all our infirmities. Thank you for restoring all the things that the enemy has stolen from us. In Jesus' name. With faith in your heart, receive these prayers and declaration I will say over you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you and your family that the Lord will restore your health and heal all kinds of wounds you have been suffering from in Jesus' name. Right now, I leverage on the name of the Lord Jesus and I decree a complete restoration of your finance. There is no more labor loss for you. Joel 2.25 says, And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. According to God's word, I proclaim and say that the Lord is restoring your years and all wasted labor that did not yield tangible results are restored in Jesus name. The Lord will cause a complete restoration of your finance. You would no longer labor in vain. There is productivity and fruitfulness for you. Right now, there is a restoration of the anointing of God in your ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is healing and restoring your soul of every emotional wound and pain in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I make a declaration that there is a complete restoration of your lost glory. You are revived in your spirit mind. I also pray that the Lord would turn your captivity around like those that dreamed. Your dry bones are receiving flesh and sinews in the name of Jesus. Right now, I pray that all your hopes that have been dashed and deferred in the past because of the failed promises are restored by the power in the name of Jesus. You will have every reason to live and enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Your business that is not doing well as it should begins to flourish and prosper like the tree planted by the riverside in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you possess back all the good things the wicked ones have stolen from you by the power in the name of Jesus. Psalm 51 verse 12 says, Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. According to God's word, I pray for you that your joy that was stolen or tampered with by the wicked ones is restored. And I pray for you that the Lord would uphold your spirit. The scripture in Psalm 8 to 5 verse 4 says, Restore us, O God of our salvation, and put away our indignation towards us. Right now, I leverage on that word, and I pray for you that the Lord restores to you in all ramifications and have mercy upon you and your family in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bring you back to your rightful place and restore you in sevenfold. I pray that the Lord is helping you to build back broken bridges between you and people that have offended you in times past. For your shame, the Lord is giving you double honor. And for ashes, he is giving you beauty in the name of Jesus. From today, you begin to lay gold as dust. And the Lord is speaking hope into all hopeless situations for your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus. The resurrection power that rose Jesus from the dead will fall upon your life right now and begin to bring back to life all things that are dead in your life. I decree that the anointing to recover all that the enemy has stolen from you falls upon you right now. The mercy of God will arise and push your your destiny to the right location and people in the name of Jesus. I command a sevenfold restoration of all the wonderful things the wicked ones have stolen from you and all the good things that are meant for you but in the possession of others are restored to you right away in Jesus name. I unseat 
all the evil ones that are sitting in your rightful position and are sitting on your promotion and prosperity in the name of Jesus. You begin to enjoy all good things that the Lord has specially prepared for you and your family in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering our prayers. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God has promised in his word in Psalm 23 verse 3 that he restores your soul and will lead you on the path of righteousness for his name's sake. You might be suffering from different kinds of illnesses that are ravaging your health. I need you to realize that the price of enjoying perfect health has been paid in full in Christ Jesus. He paid it in full over 2,000 years ago. By his stripes, you were healed. You are the one that has been healed, not the one that is trying to get healed. No matter what you might have lost in the past, there is a piece of good news for you. And the good news is that the Lord is restoring all that you have lost in the past. Joel 2 25 to 26 say that the Lord will restore all the years the canker worm, caterpillar and palmer worm have eaten. And the word of God says in Jeremiah 32 verse 27, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? There is nothing too hard for God to do right now for you, irrespective of the number of years that you have wasted in the past. Isn't that encouraging? So let us pray together in faith. Do that in faith. Father, I thank you, Lord, for healing and restoring all that concerns me and my family. Lord Jesus, I come before you and I praise your name for making me whole and free from all forms of sickness. And I bless your name that you did it even 2,000 years ago. Father, your word says in Jeremiah 33 verse 6, Behold, I will bring to you health and healing and I will heal them abundance of prosperity and security. The word of God is ever true and it never fails. I therefore proclaim that the Lord will bring health and healing to your body, soul and spirit in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bring abundance of prosperity to me whether the evil ones like it or not in the mighty name of Jesus. 3 John 1 2 says, Beloved, I pray above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. In the name of Jesus, I pray for myself that I will enjoy perfect health and I will be restored in all areas in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, the Lord will heal all members of my family that are broken hearted and will always bind their wounds. My heart will always be joyful and it will never be crushed in the name of Jesus. I say that the Lord will strengthen my mind, heart and body and heal me today. The word of God says in Isaiah 61 verse 7 that instead of shame, you will receive a double portion and instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so I decree you will inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. I stand on this word and I decree that all my shame will be turned to double honor and all disgrace that I have suffered in the past will turn around for my promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I say you will heal my land and turn all my captivity around. When my captivity is turned around, I'll be like them to dream in Jesus name. Father your word says in Jeremiah 29 11 that the thoughts you have for me are thoughts of good and not of evil to give me an expected end. By the power embedded in God's word I say that all the thoughts that God has for me will begin to come to fruition in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the evil plans of the enemy to make me languish in illness, sickness and disease are destroyed in the name of Jesus. 
I say that the Lord is restoring all the years I have lost in the name of Jesus. And by the power in that name, I decree that all the devil and his cohorts that have stolen from me and my family are restored in sevenfold. Oh Lord, I cry that you will help my unbelief, help me to trust you completely, that you will heal me in the name of Jesus. I stand upon the potency in God's word and I proclaim that the Lord is restoring my vision and my sense of perception that I have lost. Lord, I pray that you will increase my honor and comfort me once more in the name of Jesus. Exodus 23 verses 25 to 26 say, and you shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless your bread and your water and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. There shall nothing cast their young nor be barren in your land. The number of your days I will fulfill. I decree that the Lord will bless my bread and my water and will take sickness far away from me and my family in the name of Jesus. And I proclaim that I will not lack any good thing as the Lord will return all good things that I have lost in the past. Psalm 107 verse 19 says that God sent his word and the word healed them and delivered them from their destruction by reason of that word. I say that the Lord will send his word to all the members of my family that are sick and suffering from all forms of infirmities and the word of God will heal them from their sicknesses. I will not die but live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. Your word says that the weak should say that they are strong right now i declare that in any area of my life that i am experiencing weakness i pray that your strength will be made manifest in all of my weaknesses in jesus name father in the name of jesus i decree over my life that affliction would never rise up the second time in my life all the plans of the evil ones in my life are thwarted in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering all my prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In the realm of the spirit, there exists a battle that rages on. A battle not fought with conventional weapons, but with the power of prayer and the might of faith. It is warfare unlike any other. For it is weighed against the forces of darkness that seek to hinder and destroy the plans and purposes that God has ordained for your life. As you embark on this journey of spiritual warfare, let your heart be filled with a resolute determination and unwavering trust in the Lord. For He is your shield and your strength. Isaiah 42 verse 2 says, God will go before you and will leave the mountains. I break the gates of brass and break in pieces the bars of iron. And verse 3 went on to say that God would give you the hidden riches stored in secret places so that you would know that he is God of Israel who calls you by name. God is about breaking the gates of your enemies and will give you their spoils. Almighty and merciful God, I humbly come before your presence, knowing that you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You are the God who fights for me, the one who goes before me in battle. I acknowledge that the enemy is strong and his gates are fortified, but I also know that you are the God of breakthrough, the one who gives me victory over every adversary in Jesus' name. Father, I ask that you prepare me for the battle. As I clothe myself with the armor of your righteousness and gird me with the belt of fruit. Lord God, let my feet remain shot with the readiness of the gospel of peace. And as I take up the shield of faith to extinguish every fairy dart of the evil one, I place upon my head the helmet of salvation that I may have the mind of Christ. And I hold on the sword of the spirit, which is your word that I may declare your truth with boldness and authority in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of darkness that seeks to hinder and obstruct the plans and purposes that you have ordained for me. 
I break every chain and every stronghold that has been erected against me. I command every demonic force to flee from my presence and to submit to the authority of Christ. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against me in judgment is already condemned in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I pray for the strength and endurance to press on in this battle. When my heart grows weary and my faith falters, remind me of your promises. Remind me that you are my refuge and fortress, my God whom I trust. Teach me to be still and know that you are God and that you will fight for me. Grant me the wisdom to discern the strategies of the enemy and the discernment to hear your voice amidst the chaos of the battlefield in Jesus' name. As I confront the gates of the enemy, I pray for divine insight and understanding. Open my eyes to see the hidden schemes and tactics that the enemy employs. Give me the wisdom to discern his lies and discernment to recognize his disguises. Let the light of your truth expose every wickedness and illuminate the path that you have set before me in Jesus' name. I take authority over every demonic principality and power that has established a stronghold over the gates of the enemy. I declare that these gates shall not prevail against me, for greater is he who is in me than he who is in this world. I command every demonic entity to be bound and cast out and I release the power of the Holy Ghost to demolish every barrier and tear down every stronghold in Jesus name. Lord, as I possess the gates of the enemy, I pray for a spirit of boldness and courage. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may be fearless in the face of opposition. Give me the strength to stand firm in the battle knowing that you are are with me. Let my faith be unshakable and resolve on yielding as I press forward to claim the victory that is already won in Jesus' name. I surrender my will and my desires to you, O Lord. I submit myself wholly to your plan and purpose for my life. Help me to overcome the plans of wicked ones and I take possession of the spoils of the enemy in Jesus' name. O Heavenly Father, I come before you in humble reverence, acknowledging your sovereignty and might. I recognize that the battles I face are not merely against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil that seek to hinder your purpose in my life. Today, I stand at the gates of the enemy, ready to claim victory through the power of your Holy Spirit, Jesus. Lord, I ask that you equip me with the full armor of God. Guard my waist with the belt of truth, that I may discern deceit and walk in righteousness. Clothe me with the breastplate of righteousness, guarding my heart against the enemy's attack. Place under me and upon my feet the readiness of the gospel of peace, that I may walk in your ways and share your love with those around me. I take up the shield of faith that I may extinguish every fiery dart aimed at my spirit. Place upon my head the helmet of salvation, protecting my mind and thoughts from the enemy's lies. And finally, place in my hand the sword of the spirit, which is your word, that I may wield it with wisdom and authority in Jesus' name. As I stand before the gates of the enemy, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I cast down every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. I proclaim that I am more than a conqueror through him who loves me by the power of the Holy Spirit. I bind every demonic force and render them powerless and ineffective in the name of Jesus. I command the gates of the enemy to crumble and fall for greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. In the name of Jesus. O oh, precious Lord, I surrender my will to yours. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may walk in step with your divine guidance. Open my eyes to see the strategies of the enemy and grant me discernment to navigate through the snares and traps set before me. Lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. Grant me supernatural wisdom to overcome every obstacle and insight to uncover the hidden schemes of the enemy in Jesus' name. I ask, dear Lord, for renewed strength and unwavering faith. When doubt and weariness try to overtake me, remind me of your promises and the victories you have already won on my behalf. 
May I stand firm in the assurance that you are with me and no weapon formed against me shall prosper in Jesus' name. Father, I intercede for those who are also standing at the gate of the enemy. Strengthen their resolve and empower them with your spirit. Release your angels to encamp around them and guard them against the forces of darkness. Let the power of your love flow through them, dismantling strongholds and transforming lives may they too possess the gates of the enemy and advance your kingdom in the spiritual realms in jesus name lord i surrender my desires and fears and my very being into your hands may your will be done in my life and the lives of my family in jesus name amen the move of revival is strong much more than ever before. You must join the moving train of regeneration sweeping across God's body this season. The word of God says in Romans 12, 11 that you should not be slothful in business, but be fervent in spirit and serve the Lord. You might have lost your hunger and love for prayer and study of the word, but I am here to stir up that zeal that has died in your heart for God. You need to take your spiritual effervescence very seriously this season because the Lord is about to do a new thing in your life. The Word of God says in Psalm 42 verses 1 and 2, As the deer pants after the brooks, so pants my soul after you, my God. My soul thirsts for the living God, for when shall I come and appear before God? Today we'll be praying for an awakening of our spiritual senses. Let us pray together in faith. It's in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for making us alive in you and giving us a heart that longs for you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for putting your love in our hearts. Your word says in Hosea 6 verse 2, that after two days the Lord will revive us and in the third day he will raise us and we shall live in his sight. I pray that you will revive your children and raise them in the name of Jesus. Also in your word God in Psalm 119 verse 88 which says quicken me after your loving kindness so shall I keep the testimony of thy mouth. I pray for you and your family that the Lord will quicken you all after his love and kindness and will help and make you keep the testimony of your youth in the name of Jesus. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 11 says, Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. And so I declare over you that you will seek the Lord and you will do that continually in the name of Jesus. The Lord will pour upon you and your family the spirit of grace and supplication. According to Zechariah 10, 12, and I quote, And I will strengthen them in the Lord, and they shall walk up and down in His name, says the Lord. End of quote. I decree over you right now that the Lord will strengthen you and He will empower you to walk in His name, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says that Elijah was a man who would like passions as we do and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth their fruit. Elijah never had the Holy Spirit within him but he prayed fervently. Now we have the Holy Spirit in us and we can pray earnestly more than you did. And so right now, I pray for you that you are empowered to pray fervently and earnestly like never before. And as you do this, you would get tremendous results in the mighty name of Jesus. I also pray for you that you will be a burning light in this generation. Your light will never be extinguished by the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. You are strengthened to do exploit for God. As the word of God says in Daniel 11.32, that they who know their God will be strong and do exploit. I pray for you that you are strong in the Lord much more and you do kingdom exploit in the name of Jesus. 
The fire of the Lord will refine you and purify you. It will burn to ashes all the blockade that is preventing your heart from being revived in the name of Jesus. The light of the Lord will shine and expose all the dark areas and places that are impeding revival in your life in the name of Jesus. All the dark corners will be exposed by the light of the Lord. From today, I decree that you will not be slothful in business. You will be fervent in spirit and you will serve the Lord diligently by the power of Jesus. You are full of power by the spirit of the Lord and you have the judgment spirit and of might and by these you will rot exploits far above your comprehension. Your love for God will be kindled in the name of Jesus and I also pray for you that nothing and no one would take away from you the love of God. I pray that God will revive you and will allow the heavens open and the glory of the Lord will fall mightily upon you. The name of Jesus, I decree that it destroys everything that is quenching the fire of God in your life by the power in that name. All the things that are around you that are preventing you from being revived are exposed and taken away. I pray for you that the mercy of the Lord would take you back to your first love in the name of Jesus. The love of God will keep you and establish your heart. You are steadfast and movable and always abounding in the work of the Lord. Nothing will discourage you from seeking the Lord in the name of Jesus. I decree that the capacity to study, meditate on the word of God and pray is increased. I pray for you that you will be revived afresh with God's spirit, principles and values of righteousness, love and justice in the mighty name of Jesus. Loving God will be easy for you. You will no longer struggle to obey God's instructions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Peace is what God gives to you amid the storms and trials that are going on around you. The peace of God surpasses all understanding and most times it cannot be explained by the natural man. When things do not go as you want and your heart is troubled, know that you need the peace of God in your heart. Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace and you have to call on his name to garrison your heart against all the distractions that would make you worried and anxious. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. One sure way of getting the peace of God is to keep your attention on God. Today we will be praying that you will keep on finding happiness and inner peace in God. The world would give you strife and troubles, but God would give you peace which the world cannot give you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us peace and happiness in you. It's only in you we can find these. Glory be to your name, Lord Jesus. The Word of God says in Psalm 29, 11, that the Lord gives strength to his people and the Lord blesses his people with peace. According to the Word of God, I pray that the Lord will give you strength and also bless you with peace and happiness in Jesus' name. 1 Peter 5, 7 says that you should cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. I pray for you that you will cast all your anxiety, problems, troubles to the Lord. And as you do this, you find inner peace and happiness in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will always live at peace with everyone around you in the name of Jesus. And doing this will make you live peaceably in life that is void of unhappiness in the name of Jesus. Scripture says in Psalm 119 verse 165 that great peace of those who love the law of God and nothing can make them stumble. Right now, I pray for you that you will love the law of God and as you do this, you would never stumble in the name of Jesus. Right now, I decree over you that the Lord was established peace for you and the Lord would grant you all your heart desires which in turn give you happiness in Jesus' name. 
Matthew 11, 28 says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. The word of God never fails and it stands sure forever. And by it, I pray for members of your family that are worried and burdened. I pray that they find peace and inner joy in the name of Jesus. The Lord is beginning to turn around all things around for your good. Lines will begin to fall in pleasant places for you in the name of Jesus. From today, I proclaim over you that you will seek peace, and pursue it in the name of Jesus. According to John 16, 33, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Since Jesus Christ has overcome the world on your behalf, by reason of this, you have overcome all the things that might have wanted to take away your peace of mind and joy in the name of Jesus. Anytime you lay down to sleep, you will do that with peace. You will not be scared of the devices of the wicked ones that are at work at night. By the power in the name of Jesus, I arrest all the powers of darkness that are assigned to steal your peace and happiness. I pray for you that throughout your days you will flourish like the tree planted by the riverside and you will abound in peace till the moon be no more in the name of Jesus. You are greatly loved and you will not be fearful because the peace and joy of the Lord will garrison your heart from the arrows of fears the enemies will shoot at you in the name of Jesus. As you proclaim the good news of the Lord Jesus which brings peace to mankind, your feet are beautiful on the mountain of the Lord. I pray for you that the seed will be far from your heart and as you plan peace for other people around you, you would find joy and happiness in the name of Jesus. Romans 5 1 says, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. According to the word of God, I pray for you that since you have been justified by faith, you will keep on having peace with God in the name of Jesus. God will fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may abound in hope in Him always. I decree over you that the Lord will replace your garment of mourning with a garment of joy and peace in the name of Jesus. And I cancel all the arrows of sorrow that are sent against you and your family. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in the name of Jesus. You will not be distracted by the storms, trials and temptations around you. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. You are to continue confessing and professing the word of God over your life, irrespective of what is going on around you. Keep on saying the words of faith. Do not stop speaking the word of God to all those ugly situations in your life and family. Remember that faith calls those things that are not as though they were. Faith will bring all that grace has made available to you. Are you ready to take all that is yours in Christ by faith? Hebrews 11 6 says, and without faith, it is impossible to please God because they that must come to God must believe that he is and also a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Anytime you declare God's word, it won't be made effective and potent without faith. Let us pray in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray that I take possession of all that the Lord has kept in store for me. By the power in that name, I declare that my faith would not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. I declare that I'm predestined to adoption as a child of God through Jesus Christ. I am accepted in the beloved. The Lord loves me unconditionally. I will be able to access the throne of grace with confidence and boldness 
in the name of Jesus. I am seated with Christ in the heavenly places far above principalities and power in the name of Jesus. I am saved by faith through faith. I am not justified by my works, but by faith in the finished works of Christ. I decree that I am God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus unto good works. I do extraordinary things for God in the name of Jesus. I am redeemed from all curses. I am a new man in Christ Jesus. I am not limited by the vain traditions of man in the name of Jesus. The Lord is my peace. He has broken the walls of partition that is between me and him in the name of Jesus. I am strengthened in him and I decree that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. There is no limitations in me in the name of Jesus. From today I declare that the Lord will do exceedingly, abundantly above all that I will ever ask in the name of Jesus. Man will see the glory of God radiating through me. I am the light of the world and I am a city that is set on a hill. My light can never be hidden. Man will see my good works and glorify God in the mighty name of Jesus. I am more than a conqueror over all the ploys and plots of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. Since I know God, I am empowered to do exploits in all areas of my life. I have the mind of Christ and by this I know all things. I look into the supernatural realm and I see and know what the enemies are planning against me in the mighty name of Jesus. As I live in God, my life becomes more perfect. I behold his face and see his glory more clearly in the name of Jesus. I am complete in Christ who is the head of all principalities and powers. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have received an abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. Righteousness is my default state, always in the mighty name of Jesus. I behold the glory of the Lord with an unfailed face and as I behold his glory, I am being transformed into the same image from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. I am a seed of Abraham. I walk in all the blessings of the covenant that Abraham operated in, in the mighty name of Jesus. All the things that are rightfully mine that have been taken from me are restored to me in sevenfold by the power in the name of Jesus. Since I am God's servant, my prosperity is the pleasure of God always in the name of Jesus. I am strengthened with might by his spirit in my inner man in Jesus' name. I receive the strength to wait on God. I dwell under the secret place of the highest. I am safe in the pavilion of the highest in the name of Jesus. A thousand would fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand. Only with my eyes will I behold the reward of the wicked in the name of Jesus. The angel of the Lord will encamp round about me and my family. He will bear me up in his palms so that we will not dash our feet against a stone in the name of Jesus. As a child of God, I am above all the limitations of the world in the mighty name of Jesus and I am no longer stagnated. I gain speed in all areas of my life. I mount up with wings as an eagle. I soar above limitations and disadvantages that are around me in the name of Jesus. I declare that nothing would separate me from the love of God. I remain steadfast in the love of God. My eyes are fixed and rooted in his love for me in the name of Jesus. I also declare that all the years I have lost are restored. I gain acceleration to possess all that God has kept in store for me by the power in the name of Jesus. The glory of the Lord will radiate all over me and my family and will make our lives beautiful in Jesus' name. This season, the Lord will wipe away all tears away from my eyes and the eyes of my family. Sorrow has ended in my life and family. 
I begin to lay gold as dust in my finance. The garment of heaviness is replaced with the garment of rejoicing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The word of God in your mouth is to build the kind of future you want for yourself. All you need to do to be successful and great is embedded in the word of God. The word of God has a capacity to turn your life around for good. What you need to do is to enforce the word of God in your life, in areas that you need to touch. Remember the answer to every of your problem is in the word of God. God's word must be made flesh. It must be tangible for all to see. All the situations and circumstances around you are subject to the word of God. You must legislate the word of God in your territory. Joshua 1 verse 8 says, This book of the law should not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night, and that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. But then you shall make your ways prosperous, and then you shall have good success. Meditating on the word means that you speak and confess the word. So today, we will be confessing the word of God over your life. Do it in faith. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving me your word. Your word is all I have got. Your word has made me complete in you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that all that rightfully belongs to me becomes mine in the name of Jesus. 3 John 1 verse 2 says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. I stand upon the word of God and I decree that I will prosper and be in health in all areas of my life in the name of Jesus. Philippians 4 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I pray for you that I begin to do extraordinary things in the kingdom. I wrath great wonders in the name of Jesus. And I pray that never again will I be found as a mediocre. I rise above every amateurish attitude. I have the wisdom of God that makes me greater than my equals. The word of God says by the power of the name of Jesus that I have all that pertains to life and godliness and my assurance is that I can do all that he has put inside of me. I pray that in the name of Jesus that all that was stolen from me by the wicked ones in the past are restored in sevenfold. The word of God says in Luke 1 verse 37 that with God all things are possible. I proclaim over my life that all things that seem difficult and impossible become possible. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the peace of God will rule over my life and my family in the name of Jesus, declaring that all the raging storms will assuage even as I speak now. I pray that I will get the honor that the Lord has already bestowed for me, being made manifest, that I will be honored by the Lord with wealth and with fresh fruits of my increase, always in the name of Jesus. Luke 6, 38 says, Give and it shall be given unto you good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, so shall men give to you. I stand upon this word and I say that I would give to God and people bountifully because it is written in the word of God that blessed is he that giveth than the hand that receiveth. I will never be on the receiving end in the name of Jesus I am blessed in the city and blessed in the country in the name of Jesus. I decree that I am blessed in the fruit of my body and in the fruit of my hand. And as I decree in the name of Jesus that my fruits of the body, they become blessed. The works of my hands are blessed and I'm willing and obedient as I eat the good of the land in the name of Jesus. 
I pray concerning my life as I speak by the power in the name of Jesus that all the wicked ones that have come against me will flee before me in seven ways even as they came in one way. The word of God says in Philippians 4 verses 19 that the Lord would supply all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I know that there is potency in this word and as I release knowing that God would do for me, I decree that all my needs are met and I do not lack anything in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd and I lack nothing. He is restoring my soul in the name of Jesus. I also decree that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for God is with me. His rod and his staff would always comfort me in the name of Jesus. Galatians 3.13 says that Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the Lord. He has been made a curse for me because cursed is anyone that hangs on the tree. I pray that all generational patterns in my life and in my family are broken in the name of Jesus. The curses holding me down and impeding my progress remain broken now as I speak in the name of Jesus. The Lord blesses me and surrounds me with favor as a shoulder. And the God of hope fills me with all joy and peace in believing so that I abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. I speak peace and joy that surpasses all understanding relieving inside and outside of me in the name of Jesus. God is working in me both the will and do of his good pleasure, always in the name of Jesus. My words are filled with power and they minister grace to whoever listens to me in the name of Jesus. I pray concerning my life that there is nothing that I touch will be cast. I am blessed because the word of God has said, I have been blessed from the foundation of the earth by the virtue that is in the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare that as I go in, I come out blessed. As I meet anybody, I'm favored of them. In the name of Jesus, I choose to meditate on things that are pure, lovely, true, honest, and of good report in the name of Jesus. I do not fear evil because only goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. According to the word of God in Zechariah 3 verse 8, which says, I am the apple of God's eye. I proclaim that I am untouchable because I am the apple of God's eye. No man dares to do me any harm and succeeds in it in the name of Jesus. And anyone that rises up with a tongue that is contrary to the will of God in my life, he's already condemned. I declare that I am a joy of many generations and I am excellency of God's power and I dispense the presence of God. Anywhere I go, I shine the light of God in the name of Jesus. I am no longer cold, forsaken or desolate. My names are Hepzibah and Beulah. I am favored. I am favored across regions. I am favored across any race. I am favored across gender. God delights in me always and I'm God's prized possession in the name of Jesus. I no longer have the spirit of fear, but of love, power out of sound mind in the name of Jesus. I bless you Lord Jesus for answering and always answering my prayers in Jesus name. The spirit of fear sometimes will want to cripple the heart of believers. Meanwhile, fear is a torment and it is not real. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 that God has not given you the spirit of fear but of power love and of a sound mind. The spirit of fear is never of God, but of the devil. You have the boldness of God right inside of you because the lion of the tribe of Judah is right inside of you. You are the righteousness of God and you are as bold as lion. Today you will be personalizing these prayers so that you are empowered with courage and boldness to overcome all forms of fear in your heart. So let us pray together in faith. 
In this sacred moment of communion, I come before you humbly seeking the strength and courage to face the fears that plague my heart and mind. I stand in awe of your boundless power and infinite wisdom, knowing that your divine presence will guide me through this journey of overcoming fears. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I acknowledge that fear can be overwhelming crippling and paralyzing. It wraps its cold tendrils around my spirit, clouding my judgment and suffocating my dreams. But I refuse to let fear define me or dictate the course of my life. Today, I stand before you ready to confront fear head on with your unwavering support. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, Grant me the courage to face my fears with unwavering resolve. Strengthen my spirit and fill my heart with the unwavering faith that you are by my side, holding my hand through every trial and tribulation. Let your presence be a beacon of light that shines through the darkest corners of my soul, dispelling the shadows of fear and doubt in Jesus' name. Lord, help me to recognize that fear is not a sign of weakness, but an opportunity for growth and transformation. Grant me the wisdom to embrace fear as a catalyst for change, pushing me beyond my limitations and empowering me to reach new heights. Help me to see fear as a stepping stone towards self-discovery and personal development rather than an insurmountable obstacle in Jesus' name. Gracious God, I surrender my fears to you, knowing that you are the ultimate source of strength and protection. Help me to trust in your divine plan, even when fear threatens to overshadow my faith. Remind me that your love is greater than any fear I may encounter and that you have equipped me with the tools necessary to face and conquer them in Jesus' name. Dear Lord, I pray for a courageous heart, unyielding and steadfast in the face of adversity. Fill me with the audacity to take risks and step outside my comfort zone, knowing that you would never abandon me. Awaken within me a fear pierce determination to confront my fears head on. For I know that the rewards of courage far outweigh the temporary discomfort it may bring in Jesus' name. O Lord of all creation, Surround me with a supportive community that upholds and encourages me in times of fear. Grant me the wisdom to seek guidance from those who have triumphed over their fears and emerged stronger on the other side. Help me to find solace in their stories of resilience, reminding me that I'm not alone in this battle against fear in Jesus' name. Almighty God, I pray for discernment to distinguish between rational caution and paralyzing fear. Help me to recognize when fear serves as a warning sign, guiding me away from danger and when it stifles my growth and hinders my potential. Grant me the clarity to discern the difference and the courage to act accordingly in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I ask for divine intervention in transforming fear into faith. Fill me with the unshakable belief that you are the source of all courage and strength and that I can do all things through your grace. As I face the challenges ahead, let your presence infuse me with a sense of peace and assurance, knowing that you are always with me in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for hearing my prayer and for granting me the courage to face my fears. May your love and light shine me on this journey. Empower me to live a life free from the shackles of fear. I surrender myself completely to your divine will, knowing that with your help, I can overcome any fear and embrace the abundant life you have prepared for me in Jesus' name. Almighty One, 
You who are the source of all strength and power, I come before you in this moment of need. I am filled with fear and anxiety, paralyzed by the unknown and uncertainty that surrounded me. Lord, I ask that you strengthen me and give me the courage to face all my fears in Jesus' name. Lord, you know the debt of my heart. You see the torment and struggle within me, but I know that you are greater than any fear I face and you hold the keys to overcome all obstacles. Lord, help me to face all the obstacles on my way to greatness. Let me overcome all obstacles that want to put fear in my heart. In Jesus' name, Lord Jesus, I ask that you give me the strength to confront my fears head on, to stand firm in the face of adversity, empower me with the courage to stand out of my comfort zone, to embrace the challenges that lie ahead. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray for your divine guidance, for your light to illuminate my path. Let me away from the shadows of fear and doubt and into the radiance of your love and protection. Grant me the wisdom to discern between real danger and irrational fears. To see through the illusions that hold me captive. Help me to face my fears with a clear mind and a steadfast heart, knowing that you are by my side through it all in Jesus' name. I place my trust in you, O Lord, for you are the rock upon which I stand. I know that in your hands there is nothing to fear, for you are the ultimate source of strength and courage in Jesus' name. Help me to remember that fear is only an illusion, a trick star that seeks to weaken my faith. Give me the discernment to recognize the voice of fear and the courage to dismiss its whispers in Jesus' name. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may be filled with your peace and confidence. May your Spirit breathe life into my soul, infusing me with the power to overcome all fears in Jesus' name. In times of trouble, Lord, strengthen my heart that I may not be swayed by fear's torment. In moments of doubt, fill me with your peace that I may find solace and rest in your presence in Jesus' name. Help me to remember that you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. Embolden my spirit, O Lord, that I may walk with courage, trusting in your unfailing promises. May your love surround me like a shield and your light pierces through the darkest of night. Give me the strength to face my fears, knowing that you're always with me in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your unending love, for your faithfulness and mercy. Thank you for empowering me to overcome my fears and for guiding me on the path of courage in Jesus' name. I pray this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ who overcame fear and death on the cross. May his sacrifice be my inspiration and motivation in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. When a person encounters the Lord, great things are bound to happen in that person's life. There is a supernatural turnaround and all things will begin to work together for his good or her good. That person's story would be similar to those that God turned their captivity around and they were like those that dreamt. Then their mouths were filled with laughter. Scriptures say in Ezekiel 21 verse 27, and I quote, I will overturn overturn and overturn it and it shall be no more until he comes he whose right it is and i will give it to him god is about turning your situation around he is set to do a new thing in your life and family join me as we pray together we well, thank you lord jesus for turning our situations around we also thank you and know that all things are working together for our good Thank you, Lord, for visiting us daily and loading us with your benefits. We we'll bless your name, Lord Jesus. Now, with faith, accept these declarations I will say over you. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will make lines begin to fall for you in pleasant places. From today, I pray for you that you begin to lay gold as dust as you begin to experience a life-changing encounter with God in Jesus' name. 
Luke 137 says that with God nothing shall be impossible. According to the word of God, I pray that all seeming impossibilities in your life will become possible in Jesus name. When the Lord visited Hannah, she gave birth to one of the greatest prophets in Israel. When he also visited Jacob, his name was changed to Israel. Now I pray for you that the Lord will visit you and put a new song in your mouth in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 53 verse 19 says that the Lord will do a new thing. He will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I pray for you according to the word of God that God will do a new thing in your life and family in Jesus name. All those situations that seem hopeless will receive the life of Christ in Jesus name. I pray that you will experience the mighty touch of the Lord in all areas of your life and family. Psalm 23 verse 6 says that goodness and mercy are following you and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I therefore stand upon the word of the Lord and I pray for you that goodness and mercy are following you always in Jesus name. And by the power in that name, I pray that the blessing of Abraham will begin to manifest in your life and family. From today, I pray for you that you will eat in abundance and live the remaining part of your life in abundance in the name of Jesus. You will experience divine upliftment in all ramification. Your head is lifted like the horn of a unicorn and the Lord will establish your feet on a higher ground in Jesus' name. Pray for you that you will experience a touch from the good master which will make you recover all that the enemy has stolen from you and your family. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that there is supernatural speed and spontaneous growth for you and your family. According to the word of God in Psalm 67 verse 1 which says God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause your face to shine upon us. I pray for you that the Lord will be merciful unto you and your family and he will also cause his face to shine upon you in Jesus name. Psalm 106 verse 4 says, Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that you bear upon your people. Oh, visit me with your salvation. I leverage on the integrity of God's word and I pray for you that the Lord remembers you with his favor in Jesus' name. I pray that any area of your life where you need the divine touch of the Lord, you will begin to experience the touch of the Lord. I release the supernatural hand of the Lord upon your life and family in Jesus name all the insurmountable mountains that refuse to be leveled turn to plain this instant in Jesus name by the power in the name of Jesus I pray for you that all things will begin to work together for your good and the good of your family and I also pray for you that the Lord will give you double honor in place of shame and he will give you beauty for ashes in Jesus name you will begin to lay gold as dust I decree that your oppressors and pursuers will be put to shame this instant by the power in the name of Jesus. And I release the oil of favor upon you and your family. You will experience favor from God and man in Jesus' name. We bless your name, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Psalm 5 verse 12 says that the Lord will bless the righteous with favor. God will surround him as with a shield. The favor of the Lord upon the man's life will make the man flourish like a tree planted by the riverside and will make him get bountiful result even if it does not apply much effort. The word of God says that Jesus Christ grew in stature and favor with God and men. You too can also be favored like our Lord Jesus. You are a candidate for God's oil of favor this season in Jesus name. Open up your heart to receiving the favor of the Lord upon your life and family. We'll be praying for the favor of the Lord this hour. Join me as we pray together in faith. 
In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are favoured in all ramifications. You show forth the favour of the Lord to the world. As the word of God says in Haggai 2 verses 8 to 9, that the silver and gold belong to God. I pray for you that you will begin to enjoy the silver in the world since you are a joint heir with Christ Jesus. The favor of the Lord will rest upon you and your family in the name of Jesus. Your joy shall multiply as you receive unlimited favor on all sides. I pray for you that nothing shall be impossible for you because you are complete in Christ who is the head of all principalities and powers in Jesus' name. I declare over you and all your loved ones that you will always be in the right place and at the right time by the power in Jesus' name. The blessing and the favor of the Lord will run after you and your family. The Holy Spirit will begin to lead your steps to the wonderful things He has in store for you in Jesus' name. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I begin to dismantle all opposition to your favor. You will function in the place of favor and abundance in the name of Jesus. The works of your hands are blessed in the name of Jesus as I begin to rebuke all the devourers for your sake in the name of Jesus. Any relationship that you are in right now that is making favor to be far from you is broken in the name of Jesus. The spirit of excellence will rest upon you and make you favored and stand out among your contemporaries in the name of Jesus. The Lord would arise and have mercy upon you for your set time to be favored is now in Jesus' name. Right now you begin to flourish like a tree planted by the rivers of water and you would never run out of supply in Jesus' name. The favor of the Lord that is at work in you will break protocols for your sake. I decree that you will ride on horses and not walk as a beggar because the favor of the Lord is upon you. I decree over you that what other people are struggling to get you won't struggle to get because the favor of the Lord will make you get results without struggling hard. I decree that you are set aside for favor in the work of your hands. I decree that in those places you were rejected in the past, you are accepted back because you are accepted in the beloved and the favor of the Lord is working inside of you. I decree that all things are working for your good because you are loved by God in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the powers of darkness that are obstructing people from favoring you are scattered. I decree that you will walk in favor all the days of your life. The favor of the Lord has canceled disgrace and shame in your life in Jesus name. And by the power in that name, I decree that all the members of your family are favored in anything they do anywhere they go. I decree that what looks like favor, but it isn't, it is revealed to you by the Holy Spirit. I decree that you would not fall into the trap of wicked ones that is carefully placed to look like favor in the name of Jesus. The favor of the Lord will make you get results faster than your contemporaries. I decree that the favor of the Lord will make a way for you in difficult situations. And I say that the favor of the Lord will allow you not to labor like an elephant, but eat like an ant. I decree that the favor of God that is at work in you will exempt you and your family from strange patterns that are still alive in your lineage. What the enemy meant for evil, I decree that the favor of the Lord will turn it around for your good in Jesus' name. And by the power in the name of Jesus, you will not be delayed and stagnated because the favor of the Lord will increase your pace and acceleration in life. You are shielded by the favor of the Lord in all areas of your life in Jesus name. Glory to your name, Lord Jesus, for answering our prayers. In Jesus name, we have prayed. Amen. I implore you to drop your prayer requests and testimonies in the comment section.